so in today's video we are going to talk about modules and instantiation so what is a module in verilog code and what is the importance of instantiation we'll talk about that and i'm damn sure that after watching today's video you guys will be able to write a very long code for basic digital circuits so without any delay let's get started so a module is the basic building block in very long so what is the meaning of basic building block you can understand that with the help of an example so consider a building a simple building or your home so the basic block is brick with the help of bricks the entire building has made so similarly in very long the module serves the same purpose this module is the basic building block and it can be an element or a collection of lower level design blocks so these modules provide the required functionality to the higher level blocks through its port interface but it hides the internal implementation so in other words we can say that it provides the flexibility to the designers to modify the module internals without affecting the rest of the design so maybe few lines are just not clear to you but don't bother about that because i am going to explain each and every term so just consider the basic framework of very long code so whenever you are writing a very long code for any digital circuit then what should be the basic format so here we are going to know about that so as you can see here the code is starting from module and ends with end module so here module signifies the declaration of the module and end module signifies the termination of the module so this is about the beginning and end of the module now after module we need to write the module name now this module name can be anything we can write any name we can give any name based on the circuit and after writing the name in parenthesis we just need to write all the inputs and outputs means the list of ports we just need to write here then we have to declare the ports whether that port is input or output so we have to write that so this is about port declaration after that we just need to write the statements and these statements are nothing but the functionality of the circuit it can be written in terms of uh, behavioral modeling or in data flow level or in gate level or switch level and last but not the least this semicolon represents the termination of the statement so it is very important to terminate a line so this is all about the basic framework of very long code i hope you guys are getting that after seeing some example it will be more clear to you okay so we are now moving towards instantiation what is the meaning of instantiation in very long so instantiation allows the creation of hierarchy in the very long description here the hierarchy means with the help of some sub modules we are just trying to make the main module the top block with the help of some sub modules and this is nothing but the hierarchy and it can be done by using instantiation so it is a process of creating object from a module template and the objects are called instances so you can understand the instantiation with the help of a small example suppose we just want to represent or we just want to design a full adder circuit with the help of half adder circuit so we just need to write a module for half adder circuit and then we instantiate that module two times to create two copies of that half adder circuit 
so this instantiation is nothing but creating the copies of hardware circuit in verilog nesting of module is illegal means we cannot define one module inside another module so now we will consider an example so here a four cross one mux by using two cross one mux as i i was talking about the hierarchy so yes here i am trying to represent a four cross one multiplexer with the help of two cross one multiplexer so as we all know three blocks of two cross one multiplexer is required to represent a four cross one multiplexer as we can see here in this figure three two cross one multiplexer block is there this this and this four inputs i0 i1 i2 and i3 four inputs are there two select lines s1 and s0 and one output out is there now how can we represent a four cross one mux by using two cross one mux we can see here so first of all we need to write a very long code for two cross one multiplexer so now you are familiar with basic framework of verilog code so i hope you guys are now just capable to understand this code so i am starting with module then module name which is mux 221 then listing of all the ports so here i0 i1 are nothing but inputs then select line which is also an input and then out then port declaration i0 i1 select is uh, our input and out is output then here i am using behavioral level modeling to write the code so always at i0 i1 select so this is the sensitivity list and i am using always block here and then if select whenever the select line is high then i1 is assigned to out otherwise this i0 is assigned to out so this is representing a two cross one multiplexer now our target is to describe a four cross one multiplexer by using two cross one multiplexer so we just need to create three copies of two cross one multiplexer as you can see here in this figure so now we are moving towards the main module which is four cross one multiplexer so here you can see module then mux 4 to 1 then port listing here four inputs two select lines and one output then port declaration i0 i1 i2 i3 and s1 s0 then output is out here one new term is there which is wire so for now just consider this wire x1 and x2 as x1 is output of this multiplexer and x2 is output of this multiplexer so for this last two cross one multiplexer x1 and x2 are two inputs s0 is select line and output is out this is the meaning so here i have instantiated three times because i just want to create three copies of multiplexer three copies of two cross one multiplexer so m1 m2 m3 are the instance name and then i have written the ports now to be very careful about this ports because whatever order we have given here in the sub module the same order we need to follow while instantiating that so here you can see first of all two inputs then select line then output so same order we are following here two inputs select line and then output so similarly i have instantiated three times to create three copies for last multiplexer x1 x2 are inputs s0 is select line and out is out so this is all about representing four cross one multiplexer by using two cross one multiplexer so i hope that instantiation is clear to you now we are going to talk about verilog keywords so verilog is case sensitive in nature although we can use underscore dollar and alpha numeric characters to represent the keywords but there is a proper format and here you can see the correct format is this one the keyword should always be in lower case and it should not start with underscore or a number like here 
this format will throw an error in your code so avoid using this style and always prefer this style it is recommended so this is about the very log keywords now we'll talk about comments so comments are basically used for the documentation purpose actually it improves the readability of the code so whenever you are writing a code so you should always use writing comments it is always recommended because it's very important to write why you are using that particular line when you will open that code after 10 days or after after a week or after one month then maybe you will forget how that line works or why you have written that particular line in your code so for that purpose comments will be added to your code so there are two types of comments single line comment and multi line comment whenever you just need to write single line of comment then you should use this double slash and in case of multi line comment you can start that with this slash and asterisk sign and you can close with asterisk and slash so this is all about comments we can understand it with the help of example so here in first line i have given single line comment so here i am using double slash and write the comment uh, one more thing guys this comment will not be considered for the simulation your statement will be terminated here so whatever comment you want to write you can write by using this double slash and in case of multi line comment you can start with slash and asterisk sign and you can terminate that by using asterisk and slash so this is multi line comment so this is all about today's lecture i hope you guys just got all the concepts if you have any doubt you can tell me in the comment section please like the video and subscribe the channel and share with your friends i'll come with another topic till then Goodbye take care